In this video, I'll show you how to create this liquid glass effect in Blender. First, we'll need the iOS 26 UI kit. You can find it for free in the Figma community search. Shout out to Andres Storm for creating this layout. Pick the UI element you want and export its parts as SVG files. Then import them into Blender and align them. In the top bar, set the anchor point to the 3D cursor and scale it up. After that, set the origin to geometry. Now create an empty cube shape and scale it to roughly match your UI element. Select all parts, select the empty last, then press Ctrl P and choose Keep Transform. This will be your controller to move everything around the scene. Move the empty slightly up and add a plane underneath. Switch to Material View and add a grid texture to the plane using a brick texture. Set Squash to 1 to make the grid even. Then tweak the values to make it black and white and adjust the stride thickness. Add a camera and another empty. Go to Object Constraints and use Track 2 with the empty as the target. Position the camera how you like. Now organize your files and names so nothing gets lost. Select your UI piece and remove any unnecessary geometry. In my case, it had too many edges. Using Set Face. Add a Solidify modifier to give it thickness. And Bevel to round the corners. Adjust the edge size and position to get rid of sharp angles. Switch to Render View. Add a light shining straight from above and tweak it to get softer shadows. Then go to the shader editor for the material setup. Delete the principal BSDF and add a mix shader. We will mix glass BSDF with transparent BSDF. Use the shadow rate from the light path node as the mix factor. This helps remove the dark shadow behind the glass and make it brighter. Repeat this setup for the second panel and make the glass color slightly darker. Next, select the outer edge of the shape and press P to separate it into a new object. Remove all modifiers and convert it to a curve. Add an area light. Using a track 2 constraint, make it follow the empty controller. Then use follow path so the light moves along the new curve. Don't forget to select the curve and press Shift A, apply scale, so the light aligns correctly on the curve. Tweak the light settings to your liking. Select the light and in Object Properties, under the Shading tab, go to Light Linking and choose the collection with your panels. This makes sure the light only affects those objects. Now we get this final look. Next, animate the icons so they appear with a bounce effect. On frame 15, set the final keyframe. On frame 10, scale it up. On frame 1, press S and 0. Do the same for each icon with a slight offset. And it's done! I also wanted to add a glow effect like in the original. I tried using geometry proximity, but ran into a problem that took me 5 hours to solve. For some reason, the glow mask only showed up in Eevee and not in Cycles. I found the solution by accident on a random forum and described it fully in my Telegram channel. You can find it using the link in the description or the QR code on the screen. I share project files there, including this one, plus tips and tricks, and my thoughts in general. Thanks for watching, see you next time!